Oh, yes. Welcome back to Ed Hunts. Today we are here at the Milton Keynes Gaming Market. Now, I have filmed this intro slightly late. As you can see, my store is already really busy and I haven't had time. So, yeah, let's see what everyone's got. So, we only had around an hour to get our table ready for the show today as we did arrive about an hour before it started. So, let's get straight into the blind bag openings first with Harriet. We are here with Harriet and she has bought the first £10 blind bag of the day. Let's see what she's got. There's a few special games hiding in these, so there's one higher price game. So let's see if you've got it. So you've got Nintendo Super Scope 6 on a Super Nintendo. Excellent. You've got Puzzler Mind Gym 3D on the 3DS. Oh my god, I used to play that. Star Wars Force Unleashed on the Wii. There we go. Happy Feet on PlayStation 2. And we've got Destroy All Humans on the Wii. But you didn't get a special game, but you got some good games. So yeah, cool. The Milton Keynes Gaming Market took place in the Center MK, which is a shopping center, which is quite unusual for a retro game show to take place inside a shopping center. It's not the usual kind of place that we have them. Normally they are within a sports hall or a gym, but I've got to say it worked out really well. I think a lot of people could see it from the outside and they kind of wanted a piece of it. So you could buy a ticket on the door and yeah, it got really, really busy as you can see loads of people are around uh so let's go to another 10 pound blind bag opening right now okay we have george and he's bought a 10 pound blind bag so let's see what he's got there we go he's got world champion boxing on super famicom and he's got some other games in there as well two ps3 games and oh like a star wars i love this there you go Thanks, mate. All that for £10. So congratulations, George. You did find one of the higher price games on this occasion. So we do manage to do a few trades with some of the punters on the day. And one of the games that we do manage to trade is an absolute holy grail PlayStation 1 game that I have been after for years. You have to find out in the pickups what that is. Let's get on with the blind bag openings. So we're here with Jack and his old man. And he has bought a £30 blind bag. Let's see what you boys have got. So we have, oh, so you've got a special gift, so you can open that. All right, let's see what else you got. Okay, okay. so first one is... Horse riding game on the Super Famicom. Seal copy of, Seal copy of Ratchet and Clank Ratchet on the PlayStation Clank. 4. Not bad. That's a good one. It's about a 10, £15. Oh, what you got there? Five pound voucher. So nice. you got five pound. You can spend whatever you want on the store, anything um, you want. And you got broken sword, broken sword on the DS. Adventure game there. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Okay. On this occasion, not as many people that bought the blind bags wanted to be on camera, and that's completely understandable. I do always ask people beforehand. Uh, so we only do have one more blind bag opening coming up. I do apologize for a lack of footage from around the market. It was just so busy. I just did not have time on the day to get as much footage as I would have liked. So let's get to the last blind bag opening with Wes and then we'll get to the pickups. We're here with Wes hey, and his young daughter and they have bought a 30 pound blind bag. So let's open it up, see what they've got. Here's some SNES coasters you've got. Ooh. Put your drinks on. Right, so you've got Quantum Fighter on the NES. Ooh. You've got High Voltage on the Mega Drive. And you know what, I'm going to give you another game as well. What game do you want? What game, what, what console do you play for? Oh, PS1 mainly. And Wes did pick Die Hard Trilogy on the PlayStation 1 as his additional game. So as you can see, I did get a little bit of footage from the market. Not too much. This is mostly just of Bargain Ben Store, who is just next to me. We did get some photos from the market as well. Let's just give you an idea of how big it was, what kind of pieces people had for sale, and yeah, just general kind of atmosphere of the whole event and it was absolutely amazing unfortunately i didn't pick up as much as i would have liked uh, i did get some really cool games though so let's go back to the games room and i'll show you what i got and we're back so just came back from the milton Keynes gaming market and i've got to say what an insane day i was a little bit unsure about it myself a little bit skeptical because it was going to be taking place in a shopping center which is a little bit different from the usual kind of setup normally it's in like a hotel or like a leisure center or something and it's in like one of the halls or something like that just off of like the main part of like the actual complex itself so it was a bit weird for it to be right bang in the middle of a shopping center but it was really cool i mean it was like really uh well secured uh, it had like a really good perimeter going around it and you know all the ticketing went really well as well and everyone seemed to get in uh with no fuss so 
yeah, really great day all together. I just want to thank everybody that passed by the store, bought some games, bought some consoles, bought some surprise bags. Really, really appreciate every single one of you that passed by and bought some pieces of me at the market. So let's start going through some of the pickups that I've got. Unfortunately, there isn't too much to go through today. I did buy three games and I did one trade. So two of the games are just from normal stalls. One of them was from a customer that came to me. He said he had a bunch of sealed games that he wanted to sell. And one of them is an absolute holy grail that I've been after since I started collecting. So let's just log it into it. So the first game that I bought from the market is a Mortal Kombat game that I don't have in my collection currently. And it's possibly one of the worst games ever made for any console ever, and that is Mortal Kombat 4 on the Game Boy Color. Now, if you're wondering why this game is so bad, I suggest go into YouTube and just write in Mortal Kombat 4 Game Boy Color, and you'll see how bad that this game is. This is not a good port of Mortal Kombat 4. I mean, Mortal Kombat 2 that came out on the original Game Boy it is way better than this in every conceivable way. However, it was only 20 pounds. I don't have it in the collection. Loose or otherwise, so I thought it was a good time to get it. So Mortal Kombat 4 on the Game Boy Color for just 20 pounds. Second game that I got is Theater Rhythm Final Fantasy Curtain Call on the 3DS. Now that one was just £10, it is complete, all inside. He did actually have a few Mega Man games box on the Game Boy Advance that I was tempted to get myself as well. And they were quite originally priced, however I did leave it on this occasion and I just picked this one up. And I am starting to kind of build up my 3DS collection as you can see just here, as I do feel as if this is a console that is really going to go up in price significantly in the not near future, I reckon in the distant future. So I reckon it's, it's one to keep hold of and obviously it's an amazing console, got some absolutely amazing games on it. So yeah, Fierce of Rhythm, Final Fantasy. So let's get into the games that I actually got from customers. So the first one is the sealed PlayStation 1 game and that is Worms World Party on a PlayStation 1 seal. Now, he wanted 25 for this and I managed to get him down to 15. So I thought I did pretty good. Um, and you can see that there was a retail sticker on here at some point, because you can see kind of the outline of it. But this seal is absolutely impeccable. There's absolutely no breaks in the seal whatsoever. This will be ready to be graded instantly. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool. And obviously Worms, great series. Didn't play World well Party, but I have played a few of the others like WMD, Armageddon, obviously the original uh, first one and the second one as well. So yeah, really, really awesome series. Yeah, it's Worms World well Party. So moving on to the Grail. Now this is a game, it does not come up in CEX that often. When it comes up on eBay, it is an absolute scandalous price but I managed to trade it for £70 worth of games from my store and that game is Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero on the PlayStation 1. Now, I was able to get a loose cart of this this year on the Nintendo 64 in Belgium for just, I think it was like 10 or 15 euro. Oh wow. How much? Uh, 20. 20? Uh, Do 15? Hmm? 15? 80? 80. Okay, deal. It was an absolute bargain as well. Uh, but to get the PlayStation 1 version is so much more difficult to find. Uh, as you can see, it is com. As you can see, it is complete inside. It has the manual. The manual is in absolutely impeccable shape. I've seen the manual alone go for about 40 or 50 pounds. And the disc is right there as well. And both the artwork at the front and the back are also in very nice condition. It might need a bit of a recasing as uh, some of the case has a few cracks, but that is easily replaceable. So yeah, Mortal Kombat Mythologies on PlayStation 1. Now the reason why this version is better than N64 version is that it has all of the full motion video scenes in full motion, as opposed to having them just in pictures on the N64 version. And yeah, obviously this is one of 
probably the most top five most expensive games in the Mortal Kombat catalog. So to get this, very, very happy and yet yeah, over the moon. And when the guy traded it to me, he just said it meant nothing to him. So yeah, to me, this means a lot. So yeah, I really appreciate it. I can't remember your name, but yeah, really, really appreciate the deal that you cut me there. So that is it from the pickups from Milton Keynes Gaming Market. Once again, just want to thank everybody that passed through the market. It was a really, really great and enjoyable day. The next market will be in Norwich with the video game retro market. Here's some more details. The next video game retro market will be taking place in Norwich on Sunday, the 6th of October at the forum. Visit videogameretromarket.com for more information and tickets. So if you enjoyed that, hit that like button, consider subscribing. I did check and a crazy 75% of you who watch the videos aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you haven't done already, do hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.